When you think of targeting options in Google Ads, it's easy to jump to the ones you're familiar with, like keywords or audiences. And sometimes we forget about the basics. I'm talking about demographic targeting. Demographics can really help round out a persona you're trying to reach with Google Ads campaigns. So in this video, I'm gonna cover where the demographic targeting options live, I'm going to go over what options you do have and which campaign types you can use demographics. And then we'll go over some of the minute details that can easily fall within the cracks. The first thing I want to cover, and hopefully this will answer a few questions, is how Google pulls demographic information. And there's a couple ways Google does this. The easiest way is when people are logged into their Google account. Do you remember the last time you filled out a brand new Google account? There's possibly a good amount of information we give Google. Probably the biggest two are going to be age and gender, which we are going to see are options when reviewing demographic targeting. The second way would be user activity on other Google sites, partner sites such as YouTube, or other partner sites, let's say websites that are part of the display network. Now this works in a few different ways. Odds are if you're browsing on YouTube, which is owned by Google, you're already logged in to a Google account. But if you're not logged in to YouTube, or if you're browsing websites that just happen to be part of Google's display network, sometimes Google infers certain demographics. Let's say I'm on YouTube, not logged in, I still potentially could be cookied. And by using YouTube, I'm accepting those terms and conditions. Well, if I'm watching a ton of videos about being a new parent, baby clothes, installing a car seat, Google can potentially infer I'm in a certain demographic of a parent, potentially within a certain age range. Certain assumptions can also be given to Google based upon website activity if they're part of Google's display network, or if you're sharing information with those websites or social networking sites that also have a partnership with Google. And similar to that, Google may get this information from specific mobile website and app activity. Now I say possibly right off the bat, because Google flat out says that they may not be able to gather information from everyone on mobile devices. So already it's not 100%. Add on top of that, if users on devices, especially iOS devices, are opting out of third-party tracking, choosing not to be cookied in any way, then Google does not use that information to estimate any of the demographic data. So mobile activity is not fully out by any means, but it's also not a guarantee. And when we actually look at the demographic targeting options, you will see that there is going to be an option or a category if Google's not able to determine a specific demographic. Okay, now let's hop into Google Ads. When you are in Google Ads, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to review demographic information. In my view, I already had the campaigns icon selected. In this case, we wanna click on audiences, keywords, and content, and then we want audiences. You might see it at the bottom of the page. Let me scroll down. Here are the options for demographics. First, we have age, and we see ages are bucketed into larger ranges, 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 54, 55 to 64, 65 plus, and unknown. So we're gonna see unknown in each of the options for demographics. So in this case, since we're on the age tab, it means Google could not identify the age of the user. And you will see unknown information for all demographic options. If I click show table, I can review the age information at the campaign and ad group level. Right now we see we are at the ad group view. But within any of these demographics, I can change it to maybe just look at campaign view. And then the other option is looking at the account view. Really the only thing we've run in the Pay Media Pros account has been video campaigns. So I have the columns more set towards video metrics. But you can always go to your column section, modify the columns, and review whatever information could be important to your account's goals. In case you're wondering, yes, we are stuck with these particular ranges. For whatever reason, if you just wanted to see how 27 year olds did, it's not an option. You're stuck with looking at the entire range, which probably isn't that big of a deal. One more thing about age. Google does mention that parents can create an account for any kid under 13 if they use the Family Link app. And ads might be displayed to those younger users. Now, while we cannot specifically target any user 13 years or under, you can go to Google and request having your ads being shown to any user under 13. You might have different rules depending on your country or the industry that you're in. If you're looking to do that, I have a link to that specific request form in the video description. Okay, so there's age. Next, we have gender. The only options are female, male, or unknown. Next, there's household income. Here we see the options for top 10%, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, lower 50, 
and there's unknown. Now, household income is only available in select countries. There's a chance you may not see it in your account. Household income is available for display, demand gen, search, and video campaigns. And then next we see parental status. Not a parent, parent, or unknown. And parental status is available in demand gen, display, and video. Parental status is not an option for search campaigns. Now, if you're looking to hone in on specific demographics within a campaign or ad group, you can always adjust it by clicking Edit Demographics. Since I was looking at the All Campaigns view, every campaign, every ad group, I will have to choose a specific campaign first, then the ad group. Ignore the titles, this is just our demo account. And here's where I can adjust and make my options. If you only wanna reach specific genders, ages, maybe a combination of both, all you have to do is unselect the options you do not want to target. I know I gave the parent option previously, let's stick with that. If I'm promoting something with families, people with kids, I can just uncheck the not a parent. I know it seems pretty tempting in certain cases if you're trying to hone in on a group to uncheck unknown. And this could be something that you just may have to test out. So you can pretty much guarantee if you're unchecking unknown, you will miss out on a good chunk of users who most likely fall within your desired targets. At the same point, if you leave it checked, odds are you are going to hit users who don't fall within your demographics. It's something that we're just gonna have to live with. So make that a future test to see which ones may perform better. Once you've made the adjustments, you can save your demographics. Another thing you may have noticed is that I haven't really talked about Performance Max yet. That's because targeting works differently with Performance Max compared to the other campaign types. I'm already in a new Pmax campaign and I'm already on Audience Signal. Now when you're creating your signal for Performance Max, you can choose your audience data here, but you will see there is a demographic section. Of course, Google's gonna recommend everything, all ages, genders, there's parental status, household income, if you're part of the participating countries, but here's the place where you can update your demographics for Performance Max. If you are using manual bidding in any of your campaigns, you can still make bid adjustments based upon the demographic targeting. Make sure that you have the bid adjustment column in place so you could see it. And then if you hover over one row, you'll see the pencil button where you can edit. You can increase up to 900%. Yes, that's right, 900. Or if you're looking to decrease, you can decrease up to 90%. For me, if I'm hesitant using the unknown demographic for any of the options, if I'm still using manual bidding, I'd prefer to heavily decrease my bid on unknown. But of course, always review the performance. Sometimes it may still perform well for you. If you are using any automated bid strategies, you will not be able to make demographic adjustments. That being said, these manual bid adjustments are only available for display campaigns and search campaigns. Most of the other campaign types won't allow you to use this, even for manual bidding, and then certain campaign types like any smart campaign or app campaign is fully controlled by Google AI. So you can't even target or exclude any of those depending on the campaign. In a Google Ads world where it seems like Performance Max is just taking more and more control, it's still important to review demographic information. Now I'll admit none of my clients really have super small budgets, so I still think we get a decent amount of information for all of the different demographic tabs so I can still make adjustments of what I want to include within my demographic targeting. This also may give me some good information on potentially new campaigns to test. For example, if I see a specific demographic combination of let's say a specific age or gender perform well in a brand campaign or a product campaign, and I want to get in front of more users like these current demographics, I can use this information to maybe create a new awareness campaign, whether it's demand gen, display, YouTube, and start promoting my brand or my products to the best performing demographics first. I typically like to layer in demographic targeting with other audience segments because we know awareness campaigns in Google are gonna be casting a wider net anyway. Of course, Google's gonna recommend that you leave all demographics in there to learn first, but I still prefer to turn off any demographic that's not gonna fit in with my client's personas that they're going after. Now, if you're looking to get a little bit of information about detailed demographics, I know I didn't cover them in this video. While it's a little bit older, most of it still applies, so you can check out this video about detailed demographics if you're looking to target someone a little bit different. But if you have any other questions on how to use demographic targeting within your accounts, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.